This local sports report is presented by the Tavistock Hop Company, a proud supporter of the Royals, supplying Ontario grown hops to the craft brewing industry since 2014. Look for beers using Tavistock Hops in your next craft beer purchase. Learn more at tavihops.ca. It's game four in the opening series between the Tavistock Royals and the Durham Thundercats. The Royals coming off the back of a 4-0 win on the road on Friday, looking to repeat that result on Saturday as they would return to home ice. Tavi leading the Thundercats 2-1 in the best of seven series, looking to go 2-0 on the weekend and move to match point. Jumping into the action, the Royals in the rush. Eric Robichaux flips it to himself and lets it go on net. Brendan Landry kicks a pad out and covers it for a whistle. An early test for Landry and the Royals would get another break. Here's Trevor Sauter shorthanded and Sauter roofs it. That's the opener for the Royal Speedster, and it's 1-0 Tavi. Later in the frame now, it's another chance for Eric Robichaux. Brendan Landry gets the better of him, and we would head to the second period, 1-0 Royals. The Royals flying on home ice, and in the second, they'd extend their lead. It's Eric Robichaux over to Drew Girth for a beauty, and the Royals are up by a pair. Still early in the second, now the Royals in the power play. Robichaux spots out Sean Keenapple in the slot, and Sean makes it 3-0 Royals. Later in the frame, now the Thundercats looking to get something started here on offense. Kyler Nixon's point shot is snatched out of the air by Jensen Van Bokel. The Cats would keep coming, however, and it's Justin Graham in the slot, getting Durham on the board. And we would head to the third, 3-1 Royals. Into the third now, and the Royals would be quick to respond. Devin Croft loads a shot on net. Callan Christner is out front for the tap-in. It's four for Tabby, but they were just getting started. It's a shorthanded two-on-one for the Royals. Jeremy Monroe keeps, and he finds the goal mesh. So it's 5-1 Tavi. Later in the period, now 6-1 after an empty netter. Brock Hare hunts down Jeremy Monroe out front. Monroe ducks out of the headlock and here comes Colin Hartwick coming to help out Monroe. Hartwick tangles up with Hare and the two would be tossed. Jumping back into the action, the Thundercats on the power play and they get one back. Luke Richardson knocks in the rebound and it's 6-2. But with a late goal from Matt Zilke, the Royals are in full control of this one. 7-2 Tavi now, and how about some fireworks to send us home? It's a spirited bout between Cam Leslie and Brandon Richardson in front of the Tavistock bench. Leslie gets the better of Richardson as time expires in Tavi, and the Royals move the match point in the series. They take it by a final score of 7-2 on Saturday night. It was a good, good team effort. Uh, all four lines going, all D were going. Jensen was uh, big in net. Um, we were finishing the little plays, and. Uh, doing the second effort just to get the puck out of our end and uh, in the back of their goal. Uh, can't complain with the team effort. We just got to keep the pedal down, uh, keep doing the little things. Uh, we got more in the tank. We just need to uh, not get into any bad habits and just uh, take it to them. Checks, shots, everything.